I'm Rachel Wasaluka, and I am talking about um, stereotypes and how they affect our society in younger ages, and I'm trying to persuade Disney. Okay. Remember when you were one of those kids on the school playground? One of those kids who was friends with everyone? Where no one's differences mattered? Where judgments didn't exist in your small world? Do you remember a few years later how you made little clubs with your friends and rules were no boys allowed because you were just doing girl things like baking, jewelry making, dancing, etc.? Here, you can clearly see how stereotypes affected our lives. I know that was once me, and I believe this is the way it had to be. Boys couldn't paint nails, they couldn't be interested in art, and they definitely couldn't play with girls. Once, no one's gender mattered, and then, that was all that mattered. Girls couldn't get dirty, play kickball, or any sports without being called a tomboy. I've been a soccer player for as long as I can remember, but at recess, my girly side peaked. Why is gender inequality still an issue, and why are stereotypes only helping the problem? Because of after so many protests, everything around us, books, movies, TV shows, music, and real life examples highlight these inequalities. As children grow and develop, they are gaining knowledge at a rapid pace and spend many hours with the television. It is shown that the average child born after 2005 watches roughly 35 hours of television a week. 71% of 8 to 18 year olds have TVs in their rooms. Things they see or read add to this knowledge and tells them right from wrong and possible consequences in a subtle, gentle way. When children see how female characters act submissive, soft, and beautiful, they believe that is what all women should be like. That is what they should be. Many years ago, for Halloween, all I wanted to be was a Disney princess. So I was. I remember just begging my mom to wear makeup because I didn't feel pretty enough. And now, I still struggle with feeling skinny enough to fit into society's view of beautiful. Men are shown as being strong, ambitious, and smart without any feelings. Movies like Cinderella, Snow White, Tangled, and more are the reasons these stereotypes are still with us. When the guy saves the girl. When the girl stays home cleaning all day. When the girls are a possession to be kept where skinny, pretty girls always get the guy, all, are all seen in movies and read in books at young ages. They believe this is the right way to be and to live. Why can't girls be the one to save the day sometimes? Why is it never shown that men stay home? Why can't men and women be equal in both stories and reality? Remember how hearing the best thing you could be is yourself? How can we expect children to do just that if what they've seen or read tells them the exact opposite. 